Hey guys, it's Gameface here and welcome back to episode 9 of my Dortmund career mode. Now in today's episode we've got another 3 matches to play, the first of which is against Ajax in the Champions Cup group stages, followed by a game against Frankfurt, then a little bit of a break before we move on to another um, Champions Cup game afterwards. So we've got a couple of games to get through here, mainly going to be Champions Cup related though uh, in today's episode, hopefully giving some uh, opportunities as well to some of our youngsters uh, with us having quite a few games in a row, well, especially these two matches anyway. Um, but before we get into things, if we could go ahead and hit 30 likes on this video, that would be really appreciated. Also, if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well. We're less than 50 subscribers away now, which is really incredible. Um, so thank you all so much to the to the people that have subscribed. Also, if you do hit the 30 likes, then you get yourself a bonus episode straight away. You don't have to wait two days, you get it straight away. Um, and that would be, uh, again, really appreciated if we could hit that target and I'll bring you a, a new episode as soon as you do that. Uh, but yeah, this is the team I'm going to be going with for the first match and against Ajax. We're going with Berkey in goal, we're going with Ginter, Bartra, uh, Sewell, Schmelzer, then in midfield, Road, Goetze, Marino, Kagawa, and that's in behind Ayanacho and Emre Moore. Trying to play Emre Moore as much as possible, but sometimes he gets tired really easily. Uh, I don't think his stamina is that great. We might have to um, actually try and train that up over the next couple of weeks. Um, but sometimes having to rest him. I will try and play him as much as possible though because he's obviously growing really well. He's already grown four overalls um, already. We're only a few months in. So let's wait and see how we get on in this game. Hopefully get Emery more a goal or two if we can. Uh, but let's wait and find out how we do. Hopefully get ourselves the three points. That's the main thing. Here we go. A little bit of snow on the pitch, I think that is. Um, so we'll wait and see whether that affects the game too much. I don't think it should do. It doesn't look that bad. Um, but yeah, we'll wait and see as the game goes on. Might be a little bit easier to pass it round or more difficult. But I'm not too sure what the what sort of um, effect this salt weather condition has, to be honest, on the game. I reckon it'll be quite an even match, though, this one. We'll have to wait and see how we get on against Ajax. Decent team, got some good players here and there, but uh, we'll wait and see whether we've got enough to beat them. Emre Moore looking for Ayanacho, it's a good ball through from him. Ayanacho still going here, can he finish it off? Good save, Kagawa's there to finish it, but not in the back of the net. Uh, it's gone wide by a little bit there, probably should do much better to be honest. On his favoured foot there, Kagawa just needed to kind of slot it home. I know it was bouncing up, but still think it should do better. Uh, it could be 1-0 already. Kagawa running through the defence. Doesn't have too much support, really. Might have to cut back and try and find some. Still going to go, though. Kagawa absolutely smacks it at the keeper. It wasn't intentionally supposed to be smacked. It was only supposed to be a light shot, to be honest. But it's saved by Cruel in the end. Uh, pushed over for a corner. Let's, uh, I think actually we'll fire this one in rather than taking it shot. I was tempted to go short, but we'll go with a, a long one into Emre Moore. Wasn't going on target, but headed away nevertheless. Kagawa onto Emre Moore. It's a good run from him. Can he get a shot away on his left foot? Oh, what a strike. What a goal. Emre Moore scores it seven minutes before half time. Fantastic finish from him. Great run as well. And a nice little celebration there from him. Fantastic strike. Uh, really impressive stuff actually from him. Hopefully he continues to grow at the same rate. I would really like him to be quite high overall quite soon. Uh, but it's a good ball through. Loads of space to run into in behind the defence. And smashes that one past the goalkeeper. Doesn't even move. And we're winning the game 1-0. And that is it for the first half. Still winning the game 1-0. Quite a good first half for us. We were certainly on the front foot out of the two teams. Uh, definitely deserved to be winning as well. Kagawa there with a fantastic chance. Should have made it 1-0. Didn't, uh, but we'll move on into the second half, keep the team the same, uh, let's see how he gets on. I imagine that we'll go on to probably win this game, I can't see Ajax turning it round. Uh, we'll have to wait and see, they could come out in the second half and play much better than they have. Uh, but at the moment they are struggling to contain our two strikers up front. Oh no. Uh, probably spoke a little bit too soon there, I think, about them not being able to get back into the game. I think the keeper should do better. Uh, I think he's a little bit... I don't really know whether he can actually see the, the, the ball at this point, to be honest. Um, I don't know whether he's a, li a little bit put off by the players in front of him. But we'll have to wait and see from the replay, because it was good play, to be fair, from Ajax here. Keep hold of the ball well. Uh, in fact, there wasn't any players in front of him, so he's got no excuse there. It's just a poor dive. And, uh, yeah... Drawing the game one all. Not great from Berkey. Uh, no wonder he's no longer my first choice. Okay, all three changes now. We are going to bring on Guerrero. We'll also bring on Alexander Arnold as well, playing in midfield, and uh, stick Sherlock up front. So I've gone to a little bit of a different formation. I think it's called a 4 2 3 1 attack, I think. Uh, so Emre Moore goes onto the right hand side, which means we're subbing off Goetze, Moreno, and Kigawa. Uh, so that's all three of the changes done straight away because there's only 30 minutes left. So I want to give them a bit of a chance. Um, by the time they come on, sometimes, you know, it can be 20 minutes later. So we're going to hopefully give them about 30 minutes here to try and change the game around a little bit. Uh, hopefully those changes work. We'll have to wait and see, though. Guerrero, great chance for him to run through. 
Should have more pace than the rest of the defenders. Maybe gone a little bit too wide, but gets brought down. That's a definite penalty, isn't it, really? Didn't even need to dive in there because there was no one to play it to. And it's a red card on top of that. Maybe that's a little bit harsh, the red card, I think. Probably should have just been a booking there. Um, but yeah, don't didn't really need to dive in at all. Uh, we weren't really going anywhere. I was going to have to cut it back here. Um, but just, yeah, brought down completely. So we got ourselves a penalty. They've had to make a change as a result of that. El Ghazi's had to come off and have had to bring on Sanchez. Don't know what position he plays, to be honest. Um, I'm not really too sure. But this is a big penalty for us. Ayanacho to step up and take it. Oh, lovely. Right into the corner. Kelechi Ayanacho with the penalty. Fantastic strike. And he could not save it, Tim Krul. Fantastic stuff from him. Uh, really good penalty, actually, this one. Right into the corner. Very happy with that. And uh, I was a little bit worried I was going to hit the post for a second there. Dodgy run up, but uh, we'll let him off because it went in. 2-1. Schurler, brilliant pass on to Alexander-Arnold. He's through here. Can he finish it off? He's just about being caught up, but he smashes it home. 3-1. That is it. We've got ourselves the win. We've got ourselves the three points here as well. And uh, Alexander-Arnold with the finish. Brilliant bit of movement and bit of play as well. Uh, Andre Schurler, I think it was, just held it up for him. And it's a fantastic run that he's made. Smashed it home. 3-1, quite a convincing victory in the end. Uh, probably deserved given our performance and the amount of chances we had in the first half. Uh, but we've managed to capitalise on the chances this time round in the second half. Happily take that. And yeah, we're in the game 3-0. Good play again from Ajax. Oh, just about saved there by Berkey. Wasn't too sure that it would have been a penalty in a second yellow. Uh, but the ref didn't give it. It's out for a corner though. Just about got there. I don't know whether you can really say it was a fair challenge. But uh, it's gone out for a corner nevertheless. Uh, we just need to try and defend it, make sure it's not an interesting end to this game. Can we get it away? Yeah, really easily. That is it, we've won the game 3-1, got the three points in the bank. Happily take that against Ajax, a good performance in the end from the whole team. Uh, happy with the changes as well that I made, I thought we did quite well with those. Uh, Emery Moore looks good in the first half when I moved out wide. Uh, doesn't look as threatening there, definitely. So we'll try and keep him central most of the time. I know that I think for Dortmund he plays more out wide, to be honest. And on this game he's a, as, as a striker, uh, I think definitely he looks much better uh, as a striker. So I don't really know what to do about that one. Do I go with the realism or do I go with the better performances in game? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and we'll crack on to the next game now. I think we... No, we don't actually have any of the player development to do. We've just got the next game basically uh, against Frankfurt, I think it is. Um, so we'll wait and see how we do in that match. We're currently top off the league by two points ahead of Schalke. Uh, Bayern Munich are six points behind us. Leverkusen three points behind us. Uh, I don't know where Frankfurt are. We'll have a little look now. And then at the bottom, yep, they're in the relegation zone. 16th place, only got 10 points from a possible 33. So not doing too well, uh, but we'll move on to the match now. We'll quickly change around the team and uh, see what side I'll put out. Okay, this is the side I've gone with. Horn starts in goal, Piz check at right back, Tara Socrates at centre back, Durham at left back with Weigel, Alexander Arnold, Castro and Royce all in midfield. Aubameyang and Schurler will go up front and we'll see how that partnership goes. Hopefully it does okay. Uh, Royce just playing behind the two. I think that'll be an interesting one to see how that goes. Uh, that's the match I've gone with. Lozano on there, Iannaccio, Pulisic, who hopefully will get to go in this game. We'll have to wait and see, obviously not playing with wide players, but we'll wait and see how this goes. Hopefully get ourselves the three points against Frankfurt and continue our decent start to the season. And we're also uh, the best defensive club in the Bundesliga as well. Just by a goal, though, Leverkusen just behind us there, uh, conceding six goals in the first 11 matches. We've only conceded five. We'll try and keep that number down, hopefully keep it at five as well by the end of this game. Need to try and improve defensively a little bit. Ajax, we were a little bit wobbly at times. We need to try and improve that if we can and get ourselves a clean sheet here. Pizcek cuts inside here. Going to try and go it alone, maybe Pizcek. Shoots and a good save by the keeper. It's always going to be a tight angle. We've won ourselves a corner. Castro to put it straight in. Socrates is up there but headed away well. And it goes as far as Weigel, who will shoot, gets blocked. That is it for the first half, still drawing the game nil-nil. Bit of a frustrating first half, limited basically to long-range shots, that, that is it. Uh, so not really too much for you to see in that first half, uh, but we will keep, I think, the team the same. I'm struggling really to find where we're going wrong, because on paper, that's a very good team. We're looking really good. We just need to maybe have a little bit more quality, try and break down their defence a little bit better uh, than what we did in that first half. So I won't make any changes just yet, um, but I'm sure that will happen maybe around about the 60th minute like I usually do. Bamiang looking for the run here of Royce, much better, but Royce can't finish it off. Okay, all three changes, Lozano, Goetze and Pulisic will all come on. Royce will go into uh, just behind Bamiang, that means we're taking off Alexander-Arnold, uh, also taking off Weigel and Schürrle as well. So we're going to give those three players an opportunity to come on, hopefully change the game with 30 minutes to go. Bamiang through to Castro, great chance, oh, gets a block. Not convinced it was really going to go in anyway, 
didn't really seem to have enough power behind it. But yeah, that block just prevented it from really having any sort of power whatsoever to challenge the keeper. Castro into Royce. Again, just starting to put more pressure on them here. Goetze looking for a Bamiyang. Don't know what Bamiyang's doing. I don't know at all why he didn't get on the end of that. A Bamiyang onto Lozano. Wins it just about, I think, there. A Bamiyang looking back to Lozano. Needs an option in the middle. Can't find one. And, well, he's just passed it across. That's a shot. That is a shot, just to confirm. Good chance here for Frankfurt. They've had barely any chances throughout the whole match. Now starting to go forward, really playing like a team that will probably get relegated, to be honest, eventually. Uh, but a ball through here to a Bamiyang. Final chance for us, maybe? No, defended well. That's it, drawing the game 0-0. Can't really afford to drop more points like that, to be honest, uh, throughout the season. Disappointing result. Let's have a look how many shots we've had. Ten. Six on target. Definitely have a shot on target. And yet they got themselves a point. So they got more points from that game than they had shots on target. And the same amount of points from that game as they had shots. Um, that's not right, is it? Is that right? I don't know. But yeah, not good enough. Don't know how we dropped two points there. Okay, on to some player drills. We've gone with the exact same five players, other than the fact I brought in Pulisic. So, four players uh, for the usual five that we do. Uh, that meant I, I took out uh, basically Lozano, just to kind of rotate things a little bit. Wanted to keep the other four players in there, though. Try and develop them this week and see how we do. So, we've got uh, Emery Moore going to 69 overall. We've got um, Rich Turr as well going up to 60. That's good news for us. And uh, Pulisic ball control went up there, I think, to 80, one of his attributes. Uh, so, that's very good. We'll uh, see how we do in the next match against CSKA. Um, I originally was going to play all three of these games, but I don't think I've quite got enough time to fit that one in. So, what we will do is, I think, sim it and uh, see how we get on in that match. We've also got some monthly scouting updates to take a look at, which I think are quite important to, to do so we can develop some young German players in particular. Uh, we've actually got a couple of decent ones there to begin with anyway. And, oh, we've got another good one. And then we end on a not-so-good one. Uh, but, yeah, we'll have a little look at the Youth Academy now and see what it's like. It should be doing quite well, to be honest. I think we've scouted some decent players um, over the last couple of months. Um, don't know whether there's anybody we can promote yet. I think there's certainly a couple that we can probably release. Uh, a couple that aren't quite good enough for my liking. Get rid of Horn. We don't really want two Horns, to be honest. But Richter is the guy I've been uh, trying to develop over the last few weeks. He looks really good. Potential between 85 and 94. Not really going to turn that down, am I? Let's be honest. So, uh, yeah, I think we'll pretty much just go ahead with the rest of them. Uh, I don't think there's anybody really I'm that interested in promoting just yet. Uh, certainly this striker will be a good player to have in the team eventually when he's ready. Him and Emre Moore up front. That could be the future for this club. Let's wait and see. But, yeah, let's move on now to the game against CSKA. We might actually have time to do some more player development. I didn't realise. Uh, so we'll do that beforehand. And also we've got Dembele returning from injury, which is great news that I'll add to our squad. And uh, we should hopefully have him back for probably the next game after this. I won't want to rush him back for this Champions League game just yet. So the five players that we are going to be going with, again, trying to develop them this week. Again, uh, as we did with the last week, trying to get them going up in overall or attributes, whatever. Um, we've got Emre Moore going up on two of them. Pulisic made some decent progress there, as well as Iannaccio and Rich too as well. So now we can move on to the game. we got CSKA, who are bottom of our group in the Champions League. We are currently like nine points ahead of them, so they're not really challenging us, to be honest. And this is the final game of the group stage. So the reason why I'm simming it is because it doesn't really mean that much, basically. Uh, if we win, we go top. Well, we stay top, I should say. If we lose, we stay top. So it doesn't really make too much of a difference. What we will do is change on the team and uh, decide on the side I'll put out. Okay, so this is the team I've gone with. Berkey, Ginter, Sewell, Batra, Guerrero, Rode, Moreno, Alexander-Arnold, Kigawa, Pulisic and more all stand the team. So quite a weak team. I still think we can win this match, though, at home. Uh, we've got Socrates, Schmelzer, Weigel, Goetze, Schürrle, Lozano and Anach on the bench. So there's some big names that have missed out. Royce and Aubameyang being the main two. Uh, also Dembele, who is actually full stamina, but he's just still um, got a, a plaster on him, so he's still recovering basically from that injury. Gauss scores after two minutes. What a start that is for us. Um, hopefully can continue that and try and get the clean sheet as well. Uh, that'll be a nicer result for us. 30 minutes gone, still in the game 1-0. Kagawa misses a penalty now, uh, approaching half-time. It is uh, still 1-0 at this point. Ayanacho comes on, Emery Moore goes off. Bit of a shame, I was hoping he would have a little bit longer on the pitch. Goetze comes on, but Pulisic has made it 2-0. He got the second goal, he remains on the pitch for now. Just about five minutes left, we should see the rest of this game out. And we've won with a clean sheet, 2-0. Decent result, got the three points in the bag as well. Okay, so we get 18.5 million for qualifying from the group stage. That is a much better than what I was expecting. Uh, you certainly didn't get that last year, did you? 18.5, that means we're going to be left with quite a large budget uh, going into the January transfer window. 
Don't know when that gets added, whether that's been added now or not. I don't know whether it has, to be honest. We'll wait and see over the next couple of days. Um, but that is pretty much everything for the episode. Just a quick note, we're now in December. I didn't even realise that we're now in December. Um, also, the league table would actually join top now. Schalke have caught up a little bit, uh, but we have still got a game in hand. So we could actually go three points in front of them. Um, Leverkusen actually quite close to us now. Catching up a little bit, dependent on this result uh, in the next episode. You can also see Bayern Munich are currently fifth on 22 points. So they could be seven points behind us. Uh, after this match, but we do have them in the the cup game, I think, after this match, uh, which again, like I say, we'll play in the next episode uh, once we play Cologne, but I, I think we should pretty much get a result here. We'll play it in the next episode, like I said, uh, but yeah, Dembele is also fourth top goal scorer as well. Quick little note there. Um, I didn't realize he scored so many goals for us, to be honest. We're going to have to get him back into the side. Bamiang just on five. Uh, anybody else in the top sort of 25 there? No, just the two players. Uh, maybe need to uh, spread the goals around a little bit, to be honest. But like I say, that is everything for the episode. Thank you all so much for watching. If we could go ahead and hit 30 likes on this video, you will get yourselves a bonus episode. I would also really appreciate that as well. And uh, if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well. That would be absolutely fantastic. Trying to hit 5,000 subscribers as soon as possible. Less than 50 subs away now. So thank you all so much to everyone that has subscribed. And yeah, I'll see you next time for another episode. That might well be quite soon, depending on when, when you actually hit the 30 likes. Uh, but like I say, that is everything. Thanks for watching and goodbye.